everybody. Welcome to a journey so far with our confident musician client, Brendan Tui. Hey, Brendan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. No worries. So, so grateful to have you on board today. Uh, we're just going to ask you some questions about your experience in the confident musician to share with some people out there that might be interested in getting some coaching and mentoring. So, tell me a little bit about what your challenge and frustration was before you started working with me. So before I started working with you, I was struggling with my motivation to practice. <laughs> um, I'm primarily a classical musician um, and I play all the woodwind instruments, um, mainly clarinet um, and saxophone, but also other woodwinds as well. Um, and yeah, I just had finished uni. Um, Melbourne was in the midst of a brutal lockdown um, and so all gigs were cancelled, all teaching was pushed online and I could just barely get out my instrument um, to play. And so there were lots of other things going on, but yeah, that was the the main prompt, I guess, that um, made me uh, reach out to work with Brett. Awesome. And so what was it like, like, you know, trying to get motivated to do this practice? What was that kind of like? What were you trying to do in order to solve that problem? What did it, what did it feel like? Uh, it's a difficult, uh, question to answer, but I felt really, uh, just lots of self doubt. Um, like I was the problem, I, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, as I mentioned, there was nothing going on in terms of, um, professional gigs and things like that. So I had nothing really to work towards, nothing to do, mm -hmm. um, besides just my online teaching. Um, so yeah, I guess I was just kind of aimlessly wandering around, not <laughs> practicing. Um, yeah. And it took a while to kind of get over that. Um, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> yeah. And so like what changed after you started working with me and, and started to work through this motivation uh, to practice what changed? Yeah. So, uh, working with you, that actually helped reframe my my mind I guess how I think about um, what the what the real issue was um, and the biggest thing that helped um, reframe it for me was this idea of linking it to my values so what is really important to me and what practicing or music in general um, meant to me and how I can link that and make it worth worth doing um, so yeah, it was a process of evaluating everything that was important and things that had changed over time and where things rank as well, what, what priorities were sitting where and where I wanted them to be and how to shift them around. Um, so that, that process greatly helped. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And so take us to the moment when you started to realize that this you know, linking process and the coaching was actually helping you solve this challenge where you're feeling, um, you know, this self-doubt about, um, you know, your motivation to practice. Yeah, uh, it, it, took a, it took a while. It took a little while, but eventually um, I started to realize that some of the other things I were doing, I was doing, um, were more in line with my, my values or my priorities. So, for example... I wasn't practicing, but I was doing a whole lot of other music related things um, <laughs> like, you know, research and, and I was doing a lot of video editing and audio editing, recording, all sorts of things that were still important to me and still related to my music. Um, but it just wasn't time spent what I defined as practicing. Yep. Um, yeah. And after a while of, of realizing that I started to shift my priorities around a little bit. Um, so that I could um, do a bit more practicing on things that I wanted to do. Yep. Um, again, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I, think, I think somewhere in the middle there, we also figured out that you were doing a whole bunch of practice while your students were practicing on the other end of your Zoom calls. So yeah. you were actually spending a lot of time doing practice in a non-conventional sense. Um, and so I think, yeah, I think that was a big realization for you too. It's like, oh, I probably, if I was practicing, I'd probably be burning out because I was actually... You were, uh, I can't remember That's the, right. the term you use for when you, your lips burn out. 
Yeah, so because teaching was online, mm-hmm. I was doing a lot more practicing on mute while my students were, were in lessons. Um, so that was just a, a strange uh, coincidence that kind of happened out <laughs> of lockdown. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that was cool. I think that was cool. As I, I'm sorry, you, you're first, you're working with me to help you get motivated to practice, but you're already practicing. <laughs> it's just the, the landscape had changed. So that was cool for me. I was like, oh, God, here we go. So, yeah, that was cool. Um, so what, what's life like now that you're starting to become aware of this? Like you, you might have been beating yourself up a little bit that you're not doing this traditional form of practice. So how does it feel now that you've actually gotten this more awareness of what your priority list is and then how practice is actually transformed? into this new way. How's that feel now? Yeah, um, it feels great. Um, And I think, yeah, you kind of hit the nail on the head. Just being more aware is really, has really helped. Um, I look at things from a perspective now of what are the pros and cons? um, Where does this rank in my priorities? And how can I link things to what's important to me, my, my value system? So that has really helped. Um, I'm still doing a whole bunch of different things, um, but I can see how they are related to what I want to do. Um, and one of those things is practicing. Um, still doing lots of online things as well, but that's still been good. And um, yeah, just being more aware and how to deal with things that come up um, has been really helpful. Yeah, awesome. That's so cool. Is there anything else that you would like to add? As uh, We've worked together for over four months now. So I'm just wondering if there's anything else you just like little um, light bulb moments that have, that have you know, shown up for you. So is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah. Um, one thing that was difficult at first, but I got used to it over time was um, this kind of idea of like the iceberg, you know, the, the image or the graphic of the iceberg, you see the tip of the iceberg and then underneath is where all the the real stuff happens. Um, So it's getting to the reason behind the reason why um, things happen or the way you're thinking about something. So often for me, you know, it was, it was practicing, but it could be anything getting to the real reason behind, you know, and it might be three or four or five layers deep sometimes. Um, That's difficult at first, but now, I am more aware of it and I'm, I'm kind of just used to it and I see things differently now. So for example, if I am, you know, offered something or, or come across a, a problem or, or something, mm-hmm. I start to think through the different um, layers, I guess, the, the processes that we, we worked on uh, to get to the real reason why I would or wouldn't want to do something. Um, yeah. Yeah. It takes time, but it's it's good. <laughs> cool, awesome. Um, is there and is there any advice you would give to someone else that might be seeking a mentor or coach or might be interested in the Confident Muse Musician Program? Like, what would you like to share with them? Yeah, um, my my general advice is to well, firstly, go for it because um, I, I do think it has been really worthwhile. Um, general advice would be keep an open mind and just try things. Like I said, it's hard at first, um, but it does get better. And over time, you start to realize or, or just become aware and, and try things and it all gets better and easier and starts to work out. So, yeah, I definitely do highly recommend it. Cool. Awesome. Thanks so much, Brendan. Um, I really value you taking the time to have a chat with me about your experience. It really helps me too to hear you know, how the things that have shifted for you. Um, and, yeah, if you are curious watching this back, uh, please reach out to me on brett at theconfidentmusician.com.au and I'll be happy to have a coffee with you and, and talk about what you might like to do moving forward. Thanks so much, Brendan. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>